Hi, this is Dave Hoskins here to talk about bankruptcy, and we're still talking about Chapter 7 bankruptcy, and uh, this time we're going to talk about uh, your property and what happens to your property in a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. First, you need to understand something, okay? And it's a concept called property of the bankruptcy estate. When you file bankruptcy, whatever you own, okay, whatever you own, as of the time you file that bankruptcy, now belongs to the bankruptcy estate. Okay? Belongs to the bankruptcy estate, it's under the control of the bankruptcy trustee. Okay, so now your property isn't your property. However, the trustee's control of your property is subject to your claimed exemptions. Subject to exemptions, okay? And so the, the law provides exemptions, and exemptions are there to protect your property, the, that part of your property that is essential for living. Place to live, car to drive, food, clothing, furniture, retirement funds, tools of the trade, long list of things that are protected, fairly short list of things that are not protected. Okay, so exemptions. Um, but let's review again what, what's happening in a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. You're giving up non-exempt property. You're giving up property that is not protected, not protected by exemptions, okay? And so um, it's important that uh, you understand that. It's important that uh, you have the help of a, an experienced Colorado bankruptcy attorney in Colorado uh, when you file a bankruptcy because what's very, very important to protect your property is that those exemptions be properly claimed, okay? So, uh, let's talk about s s different kinds of property. First off, cash, okay? And this is cash in your pocket, cash under a mattress, cash in the bank, whatever. On the day the case is filed, you have cash, okay? You have some, and where is it? Well, is it, is it in your pocket? Hard to protect in your pocket. Is it in the bank? Best place best place for your money is to be in the bank because then you have a better chance of proving where it came from. Okay, so um, so cash in a bank, uh, because it's, it's, it's fairly easy to prove where it came from. You can show that paycheck went in there, direct deposit, or paycheck went in there. You can, you can show your pay stub, you see the amount, the amount went into the bank. Easy to prove, okay? So we can protect wages sitting in a bank account, okay, 75%. Presently, it's 75% protected, 25% unprotected. Now, that changes October 1, 2020, and it becomes 80%. 80% of your wages sitting in the bank are protected, and the trustee can only take 20%. That's very important. Okay, so wages are protected 75% presently, 80% shortly in the future. Uh, unemployment benefits are protected 100% as long as you can prove where, uh, where they came from. That's why the, you want them in the bank so that you can show that unemployment check direct deposited in and easy to prove, okay, 100% protected. Uh, but cash that's in the bank that comes from it, it's a gift, uh, from a loan, uh, maybe the proceeds of a car you sold, something like that, not protected. Okay, so these are important concepts. So, and also wages that are owed to you on the day the case is filed. Wages that your employer owes you on the day the case is filed are protected presently 75%. Starting October 1st, 80%. Tax refunds. Generally, tax refunds are not protected. However, tax refunds that, that are the uh, uh, federal tax refund from an earned income credit are totally protected, 100% protected. But once again, it's important to show uh, if, the, if those monies are already sitting in a bank account, you have to show that's where they came from. So it's real important. You get, a, you get a refund check. If you get a check, you need to deposit it in the bank the whole amount so you can see it. Okay, you can see the exact amount matches your tax return. Or if it gets direct deposited, then it's important that you consult with a, an experienced Colorado bankruptcy attorney on how to show which is protected and what is not protected. Luxury items. Luxury items generally are not protected. Okay, so that's going to be like sporting equipment, RVs, boats, trailers, airplanes. Yeah, can't protect your airplane. Uh, second homes, timeshares, uh, collectibles, art, antiques, that sort of thing. Um, investments that are not within a retirement fund, not protected. So, 
What's important here? Get help. An experienced Colorado bankruptcy attorney to plan for your bankruptcy, uh, to help you sell unprotected property before you file bankruptcy, and use those monies for yourself so that your creditors don't get it. So let's review. Um, first off, Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Give up non exempt property, get a discharge of your debts. So here we're talking about non exempt property. Okay, and protecting your property. So your property becomes property of the bankruptcy estate when you file your bankruptcy, subject to properly claimed exemptions. Uh, the law protects the essentials of living, home, car, furniture, clothing, retirement funds, tools of the trade, things that are essential for living, okay, if properly exempted. And it protects cash in the bank to some extent. Um, if you can show where it came from. Wages, easy to show where they came from. Uh, earned income credit, tax refunds, it's important to, to, to be able to show where they came from. Unemployment benefits, 100% protected, but we can't protect gifts, loans, uh, proceeds of a sale of car or sale of some other asset. Uh, toys are not protected, the RVs, boats, sporting equipment, firearms, airplanes, can't protect your airplane. And what's essential? An experienced Colorado bankruptcy attorney helping you. Next video, we're gonna talk about chapter 13. Thank you very much.